previously on funsies in my next video i'm gonna do something very special with this little bonnet head shark and i want you to check it out so recapping from our excellent experience fishing with deep sea headquarters last time my buddy caught a bonnet head shark so we just can't let the badassery of him catching his first shark go by without memorializing it somehow. So the fine people at Deep Sea Headquarters provided me with the shark mouth and gave me a few instructions as to how to preserve it. So with their advice and the information I found on uh, different websites, it's a pretty simple process to follow. Number one, you cut away the excess meat and you got to be careful with the uh, shark jaws because of the, the teeth are very sharp and number two there is the joints on each end that you don't want to cut through and also in the middle of the shark's mouth there is uh, on the top and bottom two joints that probably a little are a little tougher to cut through but you just want to use a pair of pliers and a sharp knife and pull away as much of the excess meat as you can and get down to the cartilage that makes up the jaw that's step one and once you have all that cut away the next thing you want to do is get a small container that will hold liquid and you want to add a hydrogen peroxide water mixture a one to three ratio hydrogen peroxide to water and let it soak for a day or two to loosen up whatever flesh is still remaining on the jaw and you want to open it up because that uh, will help the mouth form once you're done and after you know, you want to flip it over maybe every every day or 12 hours. Just keep an eye on it, depending on how big the jaw is, how much flesh remains. And, um, you know, it doesn't have to be in a freezer or a cooler or in a fridge or anything like that. For a bigger jaw, it has been suggested that you may want to use a piece of wood with some nails or tacks to mount the jaw to so it dries the way you want it open or half open but for a small jaw like this not really necessary so after letting it dry for a few days and continue to pick away any remaining flesh hang it up let it dry and I stuck a hook in a hole I found in the jaw and all was all done and I was able to create an awesome Christmas ornament or something to hang in your review mirror so please like share and subscribe because this episode was brought to you by nothing. Because we ain't sponsored by nobody.